What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, with High Christ Subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to decide everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, apply everyone has free will. Free will only take the messages that resonate with you and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. I just want to throw that out there real quick. We're at 12,010 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do, just saying, just saying, saying. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash up, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly blab your name or how much you donate if you do it privately through my PayPal. Um, the other option's not on right now because I don't have YouTube Live on right now, so just let everybody know. Um, so just saying. Okay, so I received another channel message in. I was thinking about doing some sign readings today. Um, I might, um, or I might not, um, possibly, but I might, uh, just let y'all know. But I did receive this channeling in. I did the daily tea earlier and then the other channeling that I'd been receiving for days. But this one I just received in, so I'm going to deliver it. Um, we've been having a lot of drug energy in here in like the past month or two or past couple months, a lot of drug energy, um, and recently a lot of reporting energy on drugs, especially nurses. Um, now I didn't hear this person, uh, the, whoever these people are, I didn't hear they were nurses. Um, but I'm just saying that's what we've been picking up. So, um, it is drug related, just to let you know. So if that triggers you, please click off, just saying, just saying. But you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So the channel message I received was um, a water sign and an air sign is about to be caught at work soon. Um, some um, snorting up cocaine, some um, stealing someone else's prescription medication. Many negative series of chain events are about to occur for these people. Um, that's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates, man. Um, so much drug energy in the collective, so much. Um, but it sounds like some people are power play movers and, um, wh well, whoever this is for this channel message, they're going to catch them. Um, so you could be the air sign or the water sign that was, that's, um, about to be caught snorting up cocaine. I heard snorting, snorting up cocaine. So I'm assuming you're geeking it, snorting it up. I'm assuming, um, snorting it through your nostrils. I'm presuming, I mean, I've never done cocaine ever a day in my life. Never do I have any desire to do so, but snorting it up. I'm just presuming is through your nostrils. Uh, I'm presuming, um, I think they call that geeking or something. I don't know. That's what I've heard before from other people. So. I guess I'm geeking it up, I guess, um, for some of these air signs and water signs. Some, I heard they're going to be caught stealing prescription medication from someone. And it sounds like in the workplace. Um, this is workplace energy. Um, whoever this is for, it's at their workplace. Someone is about to catch these people at their workplace doing this at the workplace. So I don't know if this is through camera energy, like security camera energy like security or someone viewing in through camera energy, like corporate or manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor, or if it is um, someone walking in and catching someone in someone's bag or someone's personal belongings or someone's locker or someone's something that's not theirs and catching them taking someone's prescription medicine or catching them geeking it up however that resonates um it's an earth sign i'm mean, not earth sign sorry not earth sign Oop, why did i say earth sign not earth sign it's an air sign or a water sign they could have cancer pisces scorpio and i didn't hear masculine or feminine so it could be masculine or feminines cancer pisces scorpio or masculine feminine masculine or feminine gemini libra aquarius they could have um cancer pisces scorpio in their sun moon rising venus north them in hamid jupiter charts masculine or feminine or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Feminine, Haven, Energy, Jupiter, Charts, Masculine, or Feminine. These are the two that are about to get caught. I feel for some of you guys, 
we have 12,000 attending you guys on the channel right now. Some of you guys, I feel you are about to be the ones about to catch these people. It is in a workplace situation. I did not hear specifically what kind of workplace situation this is. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So it sounds like it's about to happen. It sounds like it has not happened yet. So you have to plug this in your own life, however it resonates, if it resonates for you. Okay, I didn't hear the sign of the person about to catch these people. I just heard the signs of the people that are about to be caught. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine or feminine, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine or feminine. One of these people is snorting up coke, it sounds like. One is about to be caught. One is about to be caught snorting up coke. One is about to be caught stealing someone else's prescription medication. And you can't do that. Can't steal anything from anybody, but especially prescription medication. And that's just a daggum truth. Why are you stealing somebody's prescription medication? You know what I'm saying? I heard many negative series of chain of events are going to occur for these people. So these people who I think the person about to catch these people or people about to catch these people or camera about to catch these people. How that resonates in these people's lives is in a, it's in a workplace situation. So I feel it, like I said, it could be a person about to catch these people, people about to catch these people. You could be the person or people about to catch these person or people, or excuse me, you could be corporate viewing through cameras or a manager, boss, CEO, or supervisor viewing through cameras, or or somebody just walking in and catching them, however that resonates. Um, but the person or people about to catch them or the camera energy about to catch them, you're going to create negative series of chain of events for them, whoever you are and however that plugs in in one's life. Um, whoever, however that resonates, okay? Wow. Um, okay, I feel guided to use, let's see. Um, use your inside voice, please. Let's see, I feel guided to use energy. Hold on, wait. Actually, I feel guided to use this deck. And thank you again, SCJ, ma'am, the one that got me this deck and several others. Thank you again, ma'am. I really, really appreciate that. I truly do. I just want to say that again. Initials SCJ. I got transcending on the bottom of the deck. I just heard try again. But, you know, the transcending energy, I feel, could be the person about to, or people, or someone, person or people on the camera, possibly, if it's camera energy catching these people, um, transcending and enlightening themselves to the fact that these people are, um, one of them is about to be caught physically using drugs in the workplace, cocaine specifically, I heard. Um, one is about to be caught stealing somebody else's prescription medication, which is, um, it's that, that's that. Um, that's that all day long. So I don't, I can't imagine how they wouldn't be, negative series of chain events wouldn't occur for them for stealing. Oh my gosh. Somebody is so emotional about this or going to be so emotional about this. Holy crap. It might be you about to catch these people about to be so emotional about this. Holy crap. If y'all watched my Capricorn reading the other day, this happened in there several times. And um, when something like this happens in the reading, it can it can signify you being emotional about a situation or someone else being emotional about a situation or addictions. And the channel message I received in here was drug energy. Someone is about to be caught physically snorting up cocaine in their nostrils. So their own nostrils, their own drug use. And someone is about to be caught stealing somebody else's prescription medication. So theft and stealing somebody else's medication at that. Um, so I think you're going to be emotional when you catch them. them. They're going to be emotional when you, uh, they get caught. And drug use. Drug use with the geeking of the cocaine or how, whatever the crap you call it. Um, how that resonates. Um, and... Why are they, who, the one about to be caught stealing somebody else's prescription medication, why are they stealing somebody else's uh, prescription medication? 
And why are they stealing? You know what I'm saying? Spirit messages you have for the cluster. Courage. Yes. I heard you're about to catch them. One of you guys, I think one of my collective is about to catch them. And I'm serious about that. I'm serious. It's all in the messages and the cards in here. There's a reason I got this channel at 12.55 p.m. on 4-3-2022. Um, I think you're going to be emotional. Because for some of you guys, I feel it's going to be somebody, I feel it's somebody you like. And I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that it was. But I intuitively feel it is somebody you like. Somebody you like. And you probably have positive relations with. But they have so much hidden crap. One of them's a thief. One's a drug user. How can you not report their ass? Especially in a workplace situation. So I think it's going to hit your heartstrings. Because you're going to realize what they really do behind the scenes. And it's not something you approve of. Or something you can condone in a workplace situation. Is what I'm feeling. We have courage with grace. You're about to catch them. Whoever you are, one of my collective I'm feeling, and I'm serious about that. Number three or 49 could be a very significant number in one's life, three or 49. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible um, green card number, possible jersey number, three or 49. We have courage upright and grace upright. I think this is the energy of you about to catch this person. You're about to have a lot of courage to catch them. And I think you're going to handle it in a very graceful manner. I heard you're going to create very uh, negative series of shame events for them. But the negative series of shame events, I feel, are going to be in the workplace. I feel some of these people, um, I feel they might get put on probation or they might get report. Well, I feel you're going to report them. Either you are the manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, or you're going to report it to your manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Um, however that plugs in, whoever you are a person about to catch, either on a camera or physically. Um, but you're about to have a lot of courage and grace to do it. Uh, grace, you're going to handle in a tactful manner. So you're not, I don't feel you're going to scream at them, go cray cray on them. I just feel you're going to see what you saw, either on the camera or in person, turn around, and go tell who you need to tell or make a report if you need to make an actual report in some shape or fashion. So you're going to handle it with grace and tact. You're not going to, I don't feel you're going to scream and yell and cause drama. Um, you're going to handle it gracefully. And you're going to have lots of courage to do it. Wow, man. Holy crap. Um, this is Leo energy, by the way. Um, this one is. So for some, you could be Leos or have Leo in your chart or just use Leo energy. It doesn't matter what sign you are. I didn't hear what sign you are about to catch, either through a camera or in person. But um, you're about to exhibit Leo energy, um, bravery, courage, strength, determination. You're going to take action here is what I'm trying to say. You're not just going to, you're not going to be one of those people, whoever you are, that um, is going to see it and let it go. You know, because the, I, it could go two ways here. In this situation, you are going to take action. I heard you were going to take action and create negative series of chain events for them. But in all fairness, it sounds like you have to because you're in a workplace situation and you should. You should because the two ways it can go is you seeing it and not doing anything about it and not reporting it and not doing anything about it and just letting it go. But if you do that or reporting it. Or reporting it to whoever you need to report, either a physical report or a verbal report or both. But if you let it go, they can drag you into it later and say, oh, well, she was an accomplice or he was an accomplice. They knew about it. And some, they might say that you do it with them outside of work. So you don't want to get drugged into that is what I'm trying to say. And whoever you are, I don't think you're going to. You're, you're not You're not going to do that. You're not going to see it and let it go. You're going to do something about it. I think to cover your ass. And absolutely, absolutely, you're going to have courage and you're going to handle it very gracefully and very tactfully. Let me see if I hear anything else. Wow. One of these people is a position of high authority. It 
one of you will be scared to report this, but it really is the best in the best interest for you. Know this. One, you are a position of authority about to catch them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. Okay, so some of these people are positions of high authority. The water sign or the um, air sign. At least one of them is position of high authority. For you, whoever you are about to catch them, either on the camera or in person, one, you are position of high authority, one, you are not. For the one that is not the position of high authority, I heard you're going to be scared when you catch them. You're going to be scared. I think you might be scared of them. Um, and I'm serious. I think you might be scared of them. But I heard spiritual download, you will be scared, but it is in your best interest to report them. Because if you don't, they can drag you into it later down the line and say, oh, they knew about it and they blah, blah, blah. You don't want to get be drug into their drama. Position high authority or not. And I'm serious about that. Whoever you are, the one that's not a position high authority, because it sounds like at least two of you guys are about to catch these people in these situations soon. One, you are a position of authority. One, you are not over here. So for the one that is not, I heard you're going to be very scared. I think you're scared of these people. I think you're scared of them. But I heard it would be in your best interest, spiritual download, to report them, regardless of you being scared or not, because it basically wipes your hands of it. And it takes you out of it when you report them for their behavior, basically. It covers your butt. Okay? So... Whoever you are and how this applies for the one that is not a position of authority. Now, for the one that is a position of authority, I'm presuming they probably will not be scared. Um, if they're a position of authority, they catch a position of authority. I'm presuming they're probably not going to be scared because they are a position of authority, too. I'm presuming. I don't know. Everybody's on different time of life paths. But specifically, spiritual download for the one that is not a position of authority over here. I heard you're going to be scared. You're going to have lots of courage to do this, but it is best for you to report it to cover your ass, basically. And I didn't hear to, for it to cover your ass. I'm telling you from me, it's best for you to do it to cover your ass. Um, you do not want to get drugged into their geeking, coking up in their nostrils, drug use, stealing, some, thieving from somebody else, whether it's prescription, medication or not. And I'm serious about that. Whoever you are, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. Okay. And then grace, you're going to handle it tactfully. Um, one's going to be scared as hell, not a position of authority. One is the position of authority. I didn't hear any details on you, sir or ma'am, position of authority. About to catch either a position of authority, another position of authority or not. Whoever you are, okay? But action's going to be taken here. Action's going to be taken here whether you're scared or not. Um, however this resonates, if this resonates for you. how? And then we have uncertainty reversed underneath that. With, oh my God, with transmutation. So you're about to transmute the energy. You are, you know what you're going to do, scared or not. You know what you're going to do. And you're going to handle it tactfully. You're, uh, you know, you're not going to be uncertain. You know the course you're about to take, scared or not. And you're about to transmute the energy. Transmute the energy means change it. Change the energy. You got drug into this crap, whether you saw it on a camera or in person. But you're about to transmute it for your benefit to cover your ass and get out of this shit because somebody is stealing from somebody in the workplace, prescription pain medication or not, and somebody is physically using cocaine in a workplace, somebody's about to catch them. And I'm just serious about that. Then we have transcending again. That's triple confirmation for transcending in here. I think one of you guys is leveling up in yourself. I think you're leveling up in yourself and you're about to um, take some action here. To help yourself, to help the workplace situation, because these people are not handling, I mean, they obviously should not be in their position of high authority if one, they're stealing from another person, an employee, um, or two, using drugs in a workplace. And I'm just serious about that. I mean, the, the one that's using cocaine in a workplace, they are that brave enough to be geeking it up or snorting it up, or whatever the hell you call it, in a workplace. That's pretty brave. Um, and I feel some of them, they are so high position of authority in their workplace, they have people scared of them. And I think one of you guys about to catch up is somebody that's scared of them. But I think you're about to transmute the energy um, to get out of it. So you are not pulled into that. Transmute it to your benefit is what I'm feeling here. 
Um, I heard it's going to create negative series of chain of events for them, but just remember, you're not the one geeking up the code in the workplace. It is that that is them that did this, not you. You are not the one that is stealing somebody's prescription medication. It is them that did this, not you. So I would transmute the energy to whoever you are and how this applies, okay? I hope this helped. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. Um, but number 29 could also, and uh, number 43 could also be very significant numbers in one's life too. 29 or 43, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 29 or 43. We also had 3 and 49 as well. And 23. I'm sorry, 28. 28. All right, well, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.